Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python tuple where we'll learn how to convert the Python tuples to strings. So as you can see, the lineup approach of this session is we will use four different methods to convert a Python tuples to a string. The very first method that I will use will be the for loop followed by the join method and the third method will be where I'll show you how to use join and map function and we can convert a tuple to a string and followed by how do we use like reduce function to convert a tuple to a string so let's start so the very first method is the for loop so this is nothing but my tuple wherein i have all the letters of technology cult so what i will do i will create my string okay my string which is equals to empty string okay and i will run a for loop for loop for str n tuple for item n tuple i will say my string is equals to my string plus item so whatever it will iterate will be the, the initial term then it will concatenate or it will merge in t plus e then t e then t e c then t e c h and finally it will get our value okay once we get this we will print okay now if we execute this so you can see this tup is nothing but my tuple after using this for loop we have converted this into a string okay so that's fine after this what we'll do i'll show you the second method so i will comment it out and then i'll show you the second method okay in the second method we'll use the s join method okay so uh, what we can see here i have a tuple with several uh, items like welcome all the different words are there and what we'll do we'll create we'll merge them into a string so how do we convert this tuple into a string we'll create a variable tuple to string which is equals to dot dot join and then inside join we'll pass our tuple and after that i will simply print okay let's execute this and you can see here the final string is welcome to technology curl for machine learning i'll say one more thing slash n okay and then again we'll execute the same so welcome to technology curl for machine learning okay so very easily we have achieved the target by using the join method only join method now we will comment it out and then I, we will use the third method okay okay in my third method i still have the i we will again take the same tup uh, variable which is a uh, which is a tuple with different letters of technology cut okay arrange one after the another then how do we convert this into a string it's a very simple thing so we will use both join and map method i will i am planning to come up with a separate video for join map and reduce so i'll just show here how we use but not go into a depth okay so let's see so i'll say tuple to string which is equals to i'll give the way i have used the join i'll again still use it here and inside this i will use map okay and here i'll use lambda of x okay colon x comma tuple. Now what it will do here it is simply going to join from it will take the first letter and it will join it will take the whatever we have used here we have used a for loop and here what we'll do we'll use the lambda function in instead of using the for loop so let's execute this okay and then we'll print also print now we'll execute this you can see that it has become technological right now what if if you add this x plus x this will make a, a bit more clear okay what i'm doing i'm just concat i'm taking the one letter i'm concatenating it and then i'll take the second letter i'll just concatenate it with itself so every letter will be repeated twice so you can see t t e e c c h h so it will make things clear okay now after this we'll go and use the third method third method is we will use the reduce function where wherein we need to import the func tools package and the operator package and we'll use the same tuple which is like list of letters tuples i'll use the same way tuple to string which is equal to i'll say func tools dot reduce and then inside this we'll pass the operator what we are doing we are going to add the values right like concatenating it's like adding the strings and then we will pass the tuple inside it and then we'll say print so let's execute this you get the same thing right 
I believe I have not uh, commented this line. So that's why it was being repeated twice. So let's comment this out and we'll run it again. So now if you see, we can see here the final string is technology cut and you can see how we can easily if you know the process, you can do it. So that's it for the session. So in the session, what we have done, we have converted the Python tuples to string using the four different methods like using the for loop, join method, using a map inside the join method and also the inside the map, we have used the lambda function. You can use any other function. I just use lambda function and then I have also used the reduce function in the method number four. So thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.